So now let's take a look at uh, calculating the reaction Gibbs free energy change under standard state, or so-called standard reaction Gibbs free energy change for a methanol fuel cell reaction. For methanol fuel cell reaction, the overall full cell reaction uh, for this fuel cell reaction is given here. Methanol CH3OH plus oxygen to form carbon dioxide and water. Okay, this is the chemical reaction. And of course, let's check the mass and charge balance. Two carbon on the left, two carbon on the right. Three plus one, four times two, four hydrogen on the left. 8 hydrogen on the left, 4 times 2, 8 hydrogen on the right. 2 oxygen, 6 oxygen, totally 8 oxygen on the left, 4 oxygen, 4 oxygen, totally 8 oxygen on the right. So the mass is balanced. Zero charge on the left, zero charge on the right. So the charge is also balanced. And then we have this uh, subscript L for liquid, methanol liquid, G for gas, oxygen gas. They react to form carbon dioxide gas and L liquid water at 25 degrees C. So this is the underlying um, chemical reaction for so-called methanol fuel cell or MFC. Okay, people study methanol fuel cell a lot as a power source for portable application. Okay, so we want to know, calculate the reaction Gibbs free energy change for this process. The first thing to do would be to look up the Gibbs formation energy, the standard Gibbs formation energy data from thermochemical chemistry references. For example, I used the CRC handbook of chemistry and physics, and this is the website. And you go there, and you do the search. And for example, what I listed is a screenshot for methanol, for methanol, which is CH3OH, and it will be liquid. And you see here we listed the data FGL for liquid, F for formation. Gibbs formation energy, zero for standard. Standard Gibbs form formation energy for methanol, L for liquid state. And the tab this table gives the value at the standard pressure one bar at, in this case, 25 degrees C is minus 166.6 unit kilojoule per mole, which means if it's one mole of methanol, forming from the standard carbon, graphite, hydrogen gas, and oxygen gas, the free energy change from all those pure elements in that standard state to methanol liquid would be minus 166.6 kilojoule for one mole of methanol formation. It's a very large negative number. Okay, and this is the value we want to look for. Then you can do the same thing. At 25 degrees C, we find the maximum value, and you can do the same for other species or compounds or substance in this chemical reaction. And for oxygen gas, for oxygen gas, you will find the uh, Gibbs formation energies under standard state is zero kilojoule per mole because oxygen gas, the standard the pure element reference state is also oxygen gas. So there will be no change from the oxygen gas to oxygen gas. Of course, that is zero kilojoule per mole for oxygen gas. For CO2, you do the similar search and you get a number at 25 degrees C for CO2 gas would be minus 300 94.4 kilojoule per mole. And similarly, for water, you get this number, minus 237.1 kilojoule per mole. 
So now for each of the reactant, methanol, oxygen, and each of the products, CO2, and the liquid water, we have that delta Fg0, standard Gibbs formation energy for each of these uh, chemical or substance. Now we can calculate so-called standard reaction Gibbs free energy change. Standard reaction Gibbs free energy change. It's reaction Gibbs free energy change for standard state, everything under that standard state. Methanol, liquid, one bar, oxygen, gas, one bar pressure, CO2, I do gas, one bar pressure, water, liquid, also one bar pressure. Okay. And data Rg0. R again is for reaction, gives free energy data for change, zero for under standard state would be products summation minus reactant summation. For each of them, you calculate, you get the Gibbs formation energy times the stoichiometric coefficient. Okay, that's what we mentioned. And here, we plug the number in. For this particular reaction, the products would be CO2 and water. The Gibbs formation energy for CO2 and Gibbs formation energy for water. And then sum it up. Don't forget the stoichiometric coefficient in this reaction for CO2. We have two here. For water, we have four here. And you sum it up, that gives us the for total final state of four products. And then minus for initial state, which is summation for reactants. What are the reactants? Methanol, okay, in liquid, and oxygen gas, gas state. And also don't forget the stoichiometric uh, coefficient. 2 for methanol, 3 for oxygen gas. So this is how we calculate the dot Rg0, the uh, Gibbs free energy change on the standard state for this chemical reaction. And then plug the number in. 2 we keep. For CO2, the number is minus 394.4. For water, the number is minus 237.1. Okay, for, pro for reactants, methanol minus 166.6 kilojoule per mole, and oxygen, of course, it's pure, so therefore it is zero. So you plug the number in and keep the unit for each of them. And the, the result will be minus 1400. 04 kilojoule per mole. That would be the reaction gives free energy change under standard for one mole of reaction progression. It's not one mole of mass of CO2 or one mole of water, but one mole of reaction progression. We'll talk about this a little bit later, but for one mole of reaction progression, okay, this guy gives us the reaction, gives free energy change on the standard state for this chemical reaction that underlies methanol fuel cell. Summation of products minus summation of reactant. Don't forget the stoichiometric coefficient. 2 for CO2, 4 for water, 2 for methanol, 3 for oxygen gas. And here we are having a very large negative data Rg0 value means the reaction process, remember, we said that G is 0 means it's a spontaneous process. It's a very large negative value means it's a spontaneous process with very large driving force. From initial state to final state, there is a very large drop in system energy. Okay, 
That's why the dot RG is a very large negative value. Final state minus initial state is a very large negative number, which means a lot of energy got released from the reactants to the products. Okay, the products would be at a much lower energy state compared with the reactants.